Sprout Scouts! Welcome back to the garden. I'm Allison and this is Maisie. Today we are going to be learning about some very important helpers in our garden. Good bugs and their friends. Let's dig in! Can you think of some ways that you help people around you? I like to help cook and clean at home. I also like to ask my friends how they're doing if they look like they're having a bad day. What are some ways that people help you? My friends and family feed me, keep me safe, and play games with me. I'm really grateful for the helpers in my life. We have helpers in the garden as well. We've spent the last two adventures learning about how important water and sunshine and soil are to a garden, but gardens also need insects and bugs to help them grow. Some insects and bugs help us pollinate the garden. Without them, we wouldn't have a lot of the foods that we love, including almonds or apples or tomatoes. Beneficial insects aren't just pollinators. They can also do other things in the garden. For example, ladybugs help us eat aphids, which are a non-beneficial insect. We want to make sure we have as many beneficial insects as possible in our garden. So in a moment, come along with us as we learn about some of the beneficial insects you can find and see if you can find some in your gardens at home. Also, let me know if you've seen Maisie anywhere. I have no idea where she's gone. Beneficial means providing good results or effects. We have many good bugs or beneficial insects and bugs in our garden. They help our garden grow. Pollinators are animals that help move pollen from one plant to another. This allows plants to make fruit and seeds. We have lots of pollinators in our garden. Flowers have really colorful petals. These petals act like a runway for pollinators, so they know where to go, right in the middle where they can find the pollen. There's lots of different types of flowers, just like there are lots of different types of pollinators. Every pollinator has a favorite type of flower. This kind of flower makes a really great landing pad for flying insects, like these bumblebees right here. One of my favorite pollinators is the monarch butterfly. They start up their lives as caterpillars. Monarch butterflies need milkweed to live. Milkweed is a beneficial plant that helps out our beneficial insects. Monarchs have to travel thousands of miles when they migrate, so they need to make sure they have enough fuel to keep them healthy and strong. Migration is when animals move from one location to another, depending on the time of year. This is a monarch chrysalis. It's where the caterpillars go to turn into the butterflies. We love monarch butterflies in our garden. A pollinator that you might be really familiar with is the honeybee. Here in our gardens, we have a bunch of hives. They're full of honeybees and honeycomb where the bees come and bring their pollen and make honey. Honeybees or other pollinators or insects that live in hives have a home to protect. We wanna make sure that we're respecting their privacy. Honeybees need flowers to make their food. They also turn flowers into fruit. You can encourage honeybees in your garden by planting flowers of your own. Did you know that one out of every three bites we eat require bees or wasps for pollination? We have to protect our pollinators. Here in the garden, we have a bee hotel. These bee hotels are homes for solitary bees and wasps. They don't have a hive to defend, so they rarely ever sting. You can make a bee hotel at home. It might look like this, or it could be made of various found materials. These here that we saw earlier are made of blocks of wood with holes drilled in them, but you can make them out of materials that you have at home, like a toilet paper roll. If you have a large container, you can fill them up with toilet paper rolls and make a home for pollinators that way as well. For more information on how to make a bee hotel at home, check out the links in the description. I'm going to look around the garden for more beneficial bugs. I wonder what I'll find.
One of our beneficial garden friends is the earthworm. I found this one in our vermicompost pile. It helps us break down food so we can turn it back into soil. But you can also find earthworms just in your garden bed. Earthworms are beneficial friends because they can help aerate our garden soil, which helps keep our roots nice and healthy. Aeration means to fill with air. Earthworms help our plants to grow by adding air or space into the soil so the roots can grow. While some plants help bring beneficial insects and pollinators into the garden, others help keep them away. Planting things like marigolds, our companion plant for things like tomatoes or squash, help repel all different sorts of pests. Companion planting means planting some different types of plants close together. Depending on the plants, they may help each other get rid of pests or add nutrients into the soil. Cabbage looper caterpillars or cabbage looper moths you might see flying around your garden with white wings and black dots are non-beneficial insects and bugs. They will eat all kinds of things that we like to eat, including our tomatoes and our broccoli, by planting companion plants like marigolds, we can keep some of these pests out of our garden. It's time to write things down in our Sprout Scouts journal. Draw a picture of all of the beneficial insects and bugs you found in your garden. I'm also going to draw one of the examples of companion plants I found in my garden. If you'd like some additional journal prompts, go ahead and pause this video and write some of these down in your Sprout Scouts journal. We learned so much today. We explored the garden and learned about beneficial insects, or good bugs. We also learned about how to keep non-beneficial bugs away from our garden. Join us in our next episode, where we're going to head to Northeast Iowa to learn all about seed saving. See you there! Can you <laughs> Sorry if it's insects. I have six, six Legos? Okay. The audio also was cutting in and out on that one, but it's okay. Did you know that every... Mm -hmm.